And the British government has stripped and exiled Egyptian TV host of his visa over his support for Hamas. The Home Office put Mawataz Matar on a watch list, which means he'll be unable to return to the UK. Khaled Hassan is the counter-terrorism expert and he helped work on the case against Matar and he joins us now. Thank you for being with us, Khaled. Tell us, who is Mawataz Matar and was it right for the British government to effectively deport him? Thank you for having me, Laura. Yes, it was absolutely the right decision. As a matter of fact, should not have been allowed to actually relocate to Britain in December 2021. Um, Mata is one of the most prominent uh, radical Islamist uh, broadcasters. He has a huge following on social media. This is how he makes his money. He uses social media to make his money, which is why he's dangerous. He can work from different parts of the world very freely. Uh, and that's why he's very dangerous. And that's why this move is exactly the right move at exactly the right time. Although I do hope, I do wish that they actually had listened when I raised this in summer 2021 and again in 2022 several times. Uh, but eventually it's, 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 it's late, but it's better late than never. So is he back in Egypt now? Um, and tell us about your role in the case. Yes, yeah, so no, he cannot go back to Egypt because he's actually convicted in Egypt for supporting terrorism, including the murder of, of Egyptian military personnel. So he cannot go back to Egypt. He would actually be put in prison for at least 75 years. Uh, my role in the case was investigating, providing material, providing translation as a native Arabic speaker, as a counterterrorism expert. This is what I did. And I have been pushing for this since December 2021 when he first relocated to the UK, because under our laws, he should not have been allowed due to his support for terrorism. Unfortunately, this is there are questions that we need to raise, uh, and this is very dangerous, specifically around how he makes his money from social media, and I think that is uh, that is why again he's dangerous. I suspect now he's in Turkey. I suspect he's back in Turkey, but he cannot make videos from Turkey because he's not allowed. Uh, due to uh, the Egyptian Turkish recruitment. All right. Uh, so he's really in a difficult situation at the moment. So not welcome in the UK, not welcome in his native Egypt either. Uh, the British Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, has made it clear uh, she intends to crack down hard on anti Semitism and any public support for terrorism. Uh, can we expect further such moves, do you think, Khaled? Yes, absolutely. So they are investigating at least six people with a similar background. Uh, two of them I have raised. I believe two of them are, in, are, are basically related to the case, uh, a case that I have raised, uh, with almost an identical background, same following on social media, and they really invest a lot of money and effort uh, and a lot of a lot of their energy into actually translating material to an English-speaking uh, audience and into influencing decision making, which is why they're really dangerous. I believe a lot of them will be in hiding right now. They'll be really quiet. Uh, but the Home Office is already aware of this. Counter-terrorism police is already aware of this. We've been aware of this for months. Uh, I think it's just a matter of time before a lot of them are actually uh, under the same uh, action and, and essentially deported out of Britain. All right. Well, congratulations on your victory, Khaled. Thank you very much, Khaled Hassan.